In the nearly four years since Ferrari first launched the F8 Tributo, it feels like the company has gone through a hell of a transformation. With no less than two new plug-in hybrid supercars, a new GT Coupe, a new V6 engine, and new executive leadership, you could be forgiven for thinking that the F8's already feeling a little old hat. But to those of this aberration, we say there's nothing wrong with that, as the F8 Tributo builds on one of Ferrari's all-time great architectures, with a handsome new look featuring styling details that reference previous V8 models, improved steering feel and engine noise, and pretty much, this is 710 brake horsepower engine. The 3.9-liter twin-turbo V8 in the back of the F8 isn't quite the piston unit. Mostly it is, from its lightweight internals, titanium rods, and a lighter crank and flywheel to its higher lift cams and shorter inlet tracks. The differences stem from the fitment of a new emissions kit, specifically GPFs, gas particulate filters, that increase back pressure, but Ferrari has worked around this to deliver piston-matching power and torque 710 brake horsepower at 8,000 revolutions per minute and 568 pound-feet in cleaner emissions. And despite carrying 50 kilograms more than the Pista, the F8's performance is virtually the same. 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds, 0 to 124 miles per hour in a sensational 7.6 seconds, and 211 miles per hour all out. The F8 is up to 40 kilograms lighter than the old 488 GTV. It features a minimum curb weight of 1,435 kilograms, thanks in part to the Pista engine, which is 18 kilograms lighter than the GTBs, and partly due to optional carbon fiber wheels that account for another 10 kilograms. The F8 also incorporates the aero tricks of the Pista to help deliver more downforce for less drag and to manage the intake air to help generate Pista power. This includes moving the engine air intakes from the side pods to just ahead of the rear spoiler. Dynamically, the F8 uses 488 GTB springs and anti-roll bar rates for comfort, combined with adaptive damping that gives some of Pista's roll control. So the F8 isn't as focused a model as the Pista, but to help customers exploit its over 700 brake horsepower, Ferrari has evolved its side slip control SSC and added Ferrari Dynamic Enhancer Plus FDE Plus with the objective of making the F8 easier to handle at the limit. Early driving impressions are dominated initially by the performance, but then by a couple of other attributes, one being the steering, which is heftier than in the 488 GTD, but also has more feedback for a better connection feel. The second is the noise. The GPS fitted for emissions had the effect of reducing tailpipe noise so Ferrari has developed an in-exhaust resonator that enhances engine noise and feeds it to the cockpit. And it works. There's a rich, flat plane crank V8 character right through the rev range, something lacking in the GTB and the Pista. Ferrari has also made a 710 brake horsepower, mid-engine Ferrari exploitable at the limit. The company is very good at delivering distinctly different drive modes via the steering wheel-mounted Manatino switch altering dynamic parameters for cohesive, distinct modes. So when it says it can give the F8 driver support that will reduce the wheel workload at the limit, you're inclined to believe it. The Furano circuit should have been the place to demonstrate this, but in fact, it was inconclusive. What was apparent was that the F8 is indeed a softer, slightly less focused car than the Pista, but a usefully well-balanced and predictable one. The track F8s were fitted with Michael and Cup 2s, which according to Ferrari's test driver, can get the F8 to within half a second of Pista's lap time. Most F8s are fitted with regular Pirelli P0s, however, as specified the ride is firm but nicely rounded, and there's a good connection with the car through the steering. On smooth and open roads, SSC 6.1 and FDE Plus show their value.
price of the F8 Tributum is 203,476 pounds, which is about 20,000 pounds more than the 488 GTB it replaced and 50,000 pounds less than the Pista, and about $5,000 less than the 720S. The Pista remains the more direct and focused driver's car, but as a 488 GTB replacement, the F8 is quite something. Not because it's more punny, that's almost a side issue, but because it's comfortable and refined like the GTB, and then adds weightier, more connected steering, and an appealing engine note that's there from takeover to red line. Together, they help make the F8 a more engaging and rewarding car. As the last of the pre-hybrid mid-engine V8s, it's a great high to go out on. Is it better than a McLaren 720S? For my money, yes, partly because to my eyes it's better looking, but mainly because I like the sense of connection with the Ferrari.